Hello everyone, this is Mama Bear. Welcome ulit sa aking YouTube channel. Want your audience to see you in your instructional video? Well, this one is for you. For today, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step procedure on how you are going to make recordings with narration using PowerPoint presentation. Yes, using PowerPoint presentation. At this stage, lalo na at nasa pandemic tayo, it is a must for teacher to take advantage with the latest trends in technology to easily adapt to the new normal in education. By making instructional videos, napaparamdam natin sa audience natin, lalo na sa ating mga estudyante na nandito pa rin tayo para sa kanila, para turuan sila. They can do it anytime. Might as well, they can share it with others while they are learning at their own pace. I am so excited to share this with you guys, kaya I hope you will watch the full video. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Let's start! First and foremost, we have to launch our PowerPoint application. After that, pili lang kayo ng teams na gusto ninyong gamitin. For me, I will choose blank presentation. Napakarami ng design ideas na na-offer ni Microsoft. So, pili lang kayo dyan. I will choose blank layout for this slide since maglalagay lang ako ng mga konting picture para sa slide na to. Mas madali talaga pag may naka-store na kayong picture sa inyong computer. Para i-insert nyo na lang siya. Gustong gusto ko talaga yung mga GIF image. Kaya, yeah, lagyan natin siya. <laughs> diba? Alright. So, now ready for my second slide. So, napakasimple lang ng ginagawa ko dahil gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo yung actual process. Pero you can be more creative and artistic than this, guys. Um, imagination nyo lang ang limit, sabi nga. Alright, so now, uh, I'm gonna make another slide. This is the final slide. Okay. And then, mag-insert lang ako na birth art. I'm gonna insert. Thanks for watching. Alright, so that's the final part of my slide. Okay, now, paano natin lalagyan siya ng narration? Dito sa mga tabs na to, hanapin nyo lang yung slideshow. Pag-click nyo kay slideshow, hanapin nyo yung function na record slideshow. Click on the drop-down arrow. There are two options. You can record from the current slide or record from beginning. So, syempre gusto natin mag-start ang ating narration from the beginning. So, I will click on record from beginning. And yan! Magic! Diba? So, magic. Nandi dito na ako sa screen. Ibig sabihin, ito yung virtual camera natin that is ready for our recording and narration. So, kaya nandiyo dyan yung camera ko kasi naka-turn on cam ako. But if you do not want, nakita kayo, just click it. Yan. Para ma-off yung camera. Kung ang gusto ninyo ay audio recording lang, Naka-disable ang camera but for me, I wanted to turn it on para kitang-kita nila si Mama Bear. Alright, so you can see here the record button. So pag hinit natin yan, mag start na yung ating narration. So let's try. Hi everyone, this is Mama Bear and welcome to my virtual classroom. So, pinost ko muna. Ibig sabihin, uh, pwede kang huminga muna and mag-continue na lang later. Ano? So, pagka kinlik natin yung record, magko-continue siya in the current slide. Naka-pause lang tayo. But if you click on stop, mag-move ka naman doon sa other slide. So, pwede na natin i-click yung stop. Ayan. At pwede tayong mag-move to another slide. Kung gusto ninyo tuloy-tuloy, um, huwag niyo munang i-hit yung pause or stop. Kailangan right button or right arrow lang ang i-click ninyo. Alright, so let's move on to the next slide using the right arrow. Hit ko ulit ang record button. 
For today, we're going to discuss about the virtual classroom rules. So first, you have to be on time. Next, act like you're at school. Then, sit in one spot during class. Keep yourself muted. Turn on your video. Raise your hand to talk. Listen. No eating during class. And last, have fun and do your best. That's all for this day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. At kinlik ko na yung stop to end the narration or recording. And then, click lang natin yung close. So, you can actually do replay para if you wanted, okay, if you wanted to edit it, pwede naman, no? So, let's try. That's all for this day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Ayan. So, if you wish... To edit that, since you do the replay, click nyo lang yung clear and then clear recordings on the current slide or you want na clear recordings on all slides. Uulitin yung ulit lahat. So, close na natin since ayaw natin mag-ulit. Yan, nakikita nyo ba? Naka-insert na agad yung ating mga narrations. Pwede rin natin tong i-customize. So, pwede tayong mag-click ng format. Yan. So, pwede nyo siyang i-edit yung frame. Pwede nyo siyang uh, ilagay kung saan posisyon nyo siya gustong ilagay. Same procedure goes to your other slides. Format nyo lang. And then, edit nyo lang yung frame. Lagay nyo kung saan nyo gustong ilagay. So, nakukustomize siya, guys. Alright. Yan. And, hindi na natin kailangan i-click dyan yung playback kasi automatically mag-play na siya dahil nga siya ay narration for the slide. Now, how are we going to save it? So, pwede nyo siyang i-save as an ordinary PowerPoint file. So, una, si-save ko muna siya as an ordinary PowerPoint file. Instructional video 2. Okay, so, sinave ko lang siya. Now, after saving it as PowerPoint file para soon or later, pwede nyo siyang ma-edit ulit. Sisave ko naman siya ngayon as video. So, kinlik ko lang file and then export, create a video. And then, syempre, gagamitin natin yung nagamit nating recorded timings and narration. After that, create a video. And then, kailangan nating palitan ang file name. If you want, or kung anong gusto niyo yung file name. O, oh, yun na. Yun na ang aking file name. Same na, same na aking PowerPoint presentation. So, makikita natin dito yung progress ng ating sinisave na instructional video. Ganun din, no? The more slides, the longer it will take. So, patience pa rin is a virtue. Ganun lang kadali ang mag-save ng ating narrations and recordings. So, meron kayong two options sa narration. It can be with or without your video. Pero mas interactive siya para sa akin kapag kasama doon yung video ninyo. Parang nakikipag-usap ka talaga sa iyong audience. Pag nawala na dito yung progress bar na yun, meaning na save na siya as MP4 file. So, pwede na natin itong i-close. Hanapin natin dito. Yan. So, click lang natin. At ating panoorin ang ating na-record na video. Instructional video with Hi narration. Hi everyone, this is Mama Bear and welcome to my virtual classroom. For today, we're gonna discuss about the virtual classroom rules. So first, you have to be on time. Next, act like you're at school. Then, sit in one spot during class. Keep yourself muted. Turn, turn on your video. Raise your hand to talk. Listen. No eating during class. And last, have fun and do your best. That's all for this day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Before we end this video, gusto ko pong pasalamatan muna lahat ng ating mga subscribers. Shout out sa ating mataas na kahoy vloggers, Rapsa TV, YouTube lovers, at sa lahat ng aking mga bagong subscribers. Thank you, thank you po sa inyong support. I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share it to others. Bakit? Sharing is caring. Hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos natin. That's it for today. Bye-bye!